Hello everyone, this is Alex from Metal Master Kingdom and uh, I am at my first live show in over a year and a half here at the Rock Pile and we got some shenanigans going on over there, don't listen to that um, which is uh, Hex and Cloud and Astroth Incarnate put on by the one and only Karina Davy of Neurotic Entertainment one of the most respected promoters in the Toronto local scene who just happens to be sitting with me for a few minutes and uh, Karina, it's good to see you after... Uh, Hectic, too long. Too long. Too long. Hectic year and a half. So I'm just uh say thank you for, for joining me. It thank really you. really means a lot. So. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. And thank you for the invite. Absolutely. So so I pretty much every interview that I've been doing lately, I gotta ask start the same way. How have you been dealing with uh, the craziness? So I've been dealing with the craziness by really just being productive. Last year, I was lucky enough to have six shows. Uh, last year, we were still in the stage where you can have 50 people seated. So that is what I did in 2020. So I find myself really being grateful that I had at least six shows in 2020. And now that um, restrictions are easing a little bit and more easing up a little bit uh you could see that today was way more than 50 people mm -hmm. obviously all within government limits and i'm just so happy to have live music back because that truly is what i love to do absolutely and we all feel the same way that live music is is coming back so now this show with the hex and cloud and astroth incarnate is a pretty big deal for you it's uh, you're celebrating seven years of putting on shows here in the toronto scene um Talk about how did the idea come about to go down the promoter path? So I have always been a huge concert fan. I've been going to shows the minute I turned legal, dare I say even the couple of days, a couple of years before that, the, uh, I always, always went to concerts. I always supported the Toronto local metal scene. And one day the opportunity came to host my own show i jumped on it and that day was seven years ago and here we are now it really just happened very organically um i was just a music fan that just wanted to get behind the scenes and i really thought that i would literally do one show just to experience it just to see how it is and here we are seven years later it turned out to be a great success thank you it's awesome so over your seven years of being a promoter, you've grown into, like I said, one of the most respected promoters in the I Toronto scene. Thank you. I appreciate scene. you saying that. I appreciate I, you saying that. Oh. I, I put you up there with like Noel from Inertia Thank and, you. and all that. So Thank you. you that you, means you, a you lot. Got, you guys do so much good for the local Thank scene. You. Thank you. Like what I really love about you guys is that even if you, I know you don't really do a lot of the major touring acts, sure. but like in case of Noel, mm -hmm. uh, he actually takes chances and he'll put the local bands uh, on these bills. For he sure. has He has like room to like squeeze in some of these bands. Mm -hmm. And uh, you like help so many local bands. Like uh, a lot of your shows are like just purely local bands. Yes. So that's one of the reasons why I believe and so many other people share the same opinion of why you're so well respected and, you. and very deservedly. Thank so, you. And we thank you for that. Thank you. Well, you know, when I was just a music fan going to concerts, I would sometimes hear uh, my friends telling me these horror stories of other promoters, just local, you know, promoters of A, not getting paid, B, just shows being disorganized. And I always thought to myself, like, why isn't there someone that just really uh, changes that? Yeah. And um, what I really like is that a lot of the bands I book book are actually friends of mine so everything is really based in transparency and integrity mm -hmm. and I think that is really what sets me apart and that's why today I'm celebrating seven years of doing shows. Absolutely. Well here's to more than seven to come. <laughs> I hope okay. so. Yeah. So, um, also when it comes to being a promoter like what would be like the biggest challenge that you faced over the years? Dare I say COVID? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> other, other than no. that. So the biggest challenge that I ever faced as a promoter is venue availability. I always say if there's no venue, there's no show. Yep. You could have everything lined up, but if there's no proper venue that is big enough to accommodate 200 people, uh, is safe, um, somewhere where people like to be, not you know somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Venue availability has always been really, really big to me. 
and I have been so lucky to just work with a lot of venues that have welcomed me. Um, I really want to mention Coalition. You know, that was my home base mm -hmm. for so many years. Yep. Rest in peace, Coalition. I yep. always say hashtag 2A2 Augusta. Never forget 2A2 Augusta. Yep. But um, venue availability is the major, major challenge that exists for doing shows. Because if you don't have a venue, we have nothing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you have a favorite venue? Other, uh, other than Coalition. So at the mo so my favorite venue is always the venue that I am currently book booking and that currently welcomes me with open arms. And currently that venue is Rockpile. Where they, we are here where today. Where we are right now. So um, a lot of venues do not have the same size as yep. Rockpile, so they can't accommodate 100 people safely and thus mm -hmm. they have not yet opened. Right. Rockpile has been opened for, you know, last year they did a lot of summer shows. Today they're, uh, you know, this this time they're doing a lot of shows yep. so rock pile right now is my current menu because they have been so amazing during the pandemic absolutely with the space absolutely so um obviously the pandemic came with quite a bit of negatives for everybody for sure um however for many people it was the opposite they found some positives in there absolutely did you happen to find any positives within the pandemic sure it made me really take a moment and reevaluate how much i love live music yeah i had to step away from it to realize how much i love it yeah and how much i absolutely cannot live without it so that is a positive i i the break was fine the, yeah. the break was fine but booking shows and going to live shows is truly something that I'm so passionate about and the pandemic reinforced that thought right absolutely so last question and if you had the opportunity to put on a show with your dream bill who would be on it it's today today it's today okay then so mission accomplished thank right? you so much so okay so Karina I just want to say thank you so much thank for you. for chatting with me it was a blast yeah. and I had a blast tonight thank you and uh, it was a fun show it was uh, a good absolutely. show absolutely yeah. and here's to many more shows and many more years of neurotic thank existing you. thank you everyone for listening and you're listening to metalmasterkingdom.com we'll see you soon